guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel guys we are still on our anniversary trip and now we're about to go on uh catch the carnival horizon we are so excited i'm so excited and i want to bring you along if you love the channel guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button so ladies, before I get started, I wanted to show you my cabin and then I have an unboxing at the end. All right, on a carnival ship, all suites have a little couch that converts to a bed and a little sofa. We have a refrigerator, everything you would have in a regular hotel room. And so this is hubby and I were posing for our little anniversary picture. Uh, room come with a robe and there's a little thing on all carnival cruises that like find the ducky. And you're supposed to hide the ducks around the ship. And and then I got some more little goodies from hubby, flowers, cookies, a lot of little things like that. All right, so a lot of people ask me about the bathrooms on the cruise on in a suites room. We got the jacuzzi tub, and yes, I am going to enjoy that tub. Two sinks and all that other stuff, and this is a view of it from the balcony. The ship is getting ready to leave, and so I will try to show you the balcony. I can't because everyone's out here, my kids too, but this is the view that we have leaving florida i am so excited and who doesn't love the wind and the sea all right so before dinner we want to get some coffee just tour the ship a little bit this is one of our favorite ships so we just love everything about it but the lines at the coffee stations on most kind of a ships are packed the thing I, we love about this cruise is that it's a variety so i really love the way they do the little videos in the middle i think it's so cute just reminds me of nemo it changes videos on it and it's in the middle of the atrium and so I think it is so cute. The time we got down on the first floor, look how it had changed. Hubby's getting something to drink and I'm checking out the video and the scenery. I just think it is the cutest thing. Beautiful. I just love art. It, that is so beautiful. Tonight is actually my anniversary night. So we decided to do one of the specialty, di specialty dining on Carnival Cruise. So we decided to go to the 555 Fahrenheit Steakhouse. It is so cute. I had lamb chops. One of my kids had ribeye. Uh, hubby had the cowboy steak. Another steak. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> so they had steaks and i had lamb i like this because the food is a little different than the dining room and it's so pretty so loved it loved it loved it so check out especially dining when you are cruising i love the dessert now who doesn't enjoy some dessert the dessert on the in the specialty dining room is always delicious and the uh, chef gave me a little special chocolate uh, message on my plate. And so I can't even remember the name of this. I'm sorry, guys, but it was delicious. And hubby had an apple pie type dessert. He said it was really, really delicious. All right, so I had to get my toes done. I always wait until I get on the cruise to hit the spa just to get me in that mood. After the spa, I had to go get some candy. <laughs> um, I love their little candy store. It's just so cute. This is the Horizon, uh, kind of a Horizon if I didn't say it. Uh, the Horizon has a ice cream shop also in the store. Sometimes people don't realize it, but you have to go to the back. And so I have my son check out some of the toys that they had there. Just so I could show you guys, those of you with children. And I am trying to figure out what I want from the ice cream shop. I just love ice cream. So it's nothing like a little treat after the spa. And so I had a little sundae. And of course, I have to get back to the room and just chill a little bit for this first day. Because I tend to do too much. But hubby and I just wanted to sit on the balcony and just watch the water. Um, I'm going to take a little bubble bath. And then I'm going to be excited and ready for tomorrow. 
Ladies, I'm so excited about going to Aruba. Um, not just because of the beach, because I was going to, I have already planned to go to Louis Vuitton. Yes, you know it. I just love shopping. and <laughs> I love shopping in the Caribbean. And Louis Vuitton is only located in Aruba, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and I think Barbados, but I have to double check that. I had to come to Aruba and I had to go to the Louis Vuitton. The store in Aruba was a good size. I saw it everything I wanted when I went in there. I definitely had a great essay. She was a sweetie. I was looking at the capucine, but it was the wrong color. I wanted to cry. My sons were looking at some things and I wanted to check out some of the jewelry they had. They seemed to have a lot of stuff that they didn't have in my DC store. So check out the LV and Aruba when you come, ladies. They have a lot of bags, a lot of eye candy. They had the new stuff out. Not everything, but you know, fair amount. I love that blue color. Now, I did get some goodies, ladies. And I need you to stay till the end of the video so you can see what I got. So I love Aruba. It was a nice store, nice uh, customer service. And I was even able to get a little something I want to share, share with you at the end. And I love their packaging. All right, ladies. Uh, let me hit the beach again before we head back on this boat. The water here is just so beautiful. Okay, I'm so excited we made it back on the boat in time for tea time. I just wanted to show you some shots of tea time. A lot of times people don't show you the other things that they have on Carnival Cruise. And I just love tea time. We also went to Curacao and some other countries. But I just didn't have time to show you all that. And I know you just want to see this unboxing. Guys, it's been a minute. I got back. I had to do my hair because the salt water really bleached on my hair. I didn't even realize it. Ladies. Thank you for joining me. If you notice, I have changed the name of the channel to just Sparkling Moment um, because hopefully that is what I'm giving you a little bit of a sparkling moment, a time when you could just talk a little about luxury all types of luxury not just handbags i think i'm getting bored with handbags but i just want to bring and talk about different things that makes our lives just feel more luxurious before i get started let me show you my bag of the day because i did get an email so ladies my bag of the day i just love it i think um of all the shape bags i really think that this is the bag that I love. I keep going back to it. <laughs> the thing I love about this bag is definitely is that it's very, very soft. It's a really nice soft bag. Hopefully I didn't mess up the camera lighting. I love this right here. And then I just have it filled with my faded blue things, which I have been loving this summer. So this is my bag of the day and I am Loving it. This is one of my favorites. Then I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. Guys, it doesn't cost anything to hit the subscribe button. Some of you have been watching my channel for some time, but you have yet to subscribe. And it will help my channels be seen by more people in the algorithm. So I would really appreciate if you would just give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to subscribe. But if you decide to subscribe, it's free. So ladies, I want to start my unboxing with something I got from Aruba. When I travel, I really like to support the local industry in that particular country. I saw on Pink Butterfly, I'll put her... Uh, channel on the screen she went to aruba and she spoke about the um, products in aruba i wanted to try it out the aruba brand and so i got the lotion and i believe everything is made out of aloe you know aloe vera is good for your skin i also got their soap now i got a few soap and i really i'm really enjoying the soap i think this one is melting a little because I had it in my suitcase. And, and I got this really great bag that I could use because a lot of stores are now charging for bags. And I got this little gift set. So let me try to open it up so I can share what's inside. I got the gift set and it cost about $50, the gift set. Inside the gift set, there is bath salt, um, aloe scrub, body lotion, and and the body wash types of soap you could have gotten 
I just wanted to try the pure aloe. So everything I got was in aloe. So if you ever visit Aruba, don't forget to check out their aloe since that's their thing that they're known for. And so that was really fun. Another new cool thing they have in Aruba is that they have a winery. Yes, in that desert land, they have a winery. And we didn't get to check it out because it was closed during the time that the cruise ships was there. But Aruba is really a really nice country. Guys, you know I love Aruba and I love Louis Vuitton. So the first thing I had to get was my luggage tag stamped. <laughs> so all you have to do with a lot of foreign countries is bring your luggage tag and they will stamp it for you. They used to stamp your passport book, but I don't know um, if they still do that. You would probably have to ask the sales associate. Now, Louis Vuitton is supposed to stamp it free. They used to stamp it free. I'm not sure and I didn't ask, but I went to buy something anyway. So I figured I'm buying something, you're gonna stamp my luggage tag. I know some people have problems in some countries getting their things stamped. I think it's an individual thing. I'm not sure what the policy is at Louis Vuitton. So you guys might wanna look at that online. I'm not sure. So when you go to Aruba, they have the tags that say Aruba. And so I thought that was cute. What did I get? Something small. And guess what? This time it wasn't for me. I got this uh, little wallet or, or card holder. This is for my husband. <laughs> Ladies, I can't remember the name of this, but I will put it on the screen. So this was what I got for my hubby. This is so cute. The next thing I got, of course, the cute little tag was for my son. And I got him a wallet. Now, isn't this the most beautiful blue? Oh my goodness. If Louis Vuitton would come out with a Speedy in this color, I'd be on it. <laughs> so this is how it looks in the front, similar to the one um, in the back with this pocket. This blue is hard to get in my area. So when I saw it in Aruba, just had to get it. And here it is right here. I'm not sure what this is called, but I will put it on the screen. One pocket here, one pocket there, similar to the one, um, my husband have so but i just love this color they do have a bag in this color for men but i don't know if i like it if it's too masculine for me my other son is a cologne guy so i got him some cologne from louis vuitton his first louis vuitton cologne and i'll put the name on the screen and of course he took that so i couldn't even share it with you guys and the last well i have one more thing this is the other thing i got from louis vuitton now, guys, I did look at the Speedy 20 Damier Azul. I'm thinking about getting that bag. I didn't get it in Aruba because one of the rules um, with Louis Vuitton is wherever you return, wherever you purchase the bag, you have to return it there. So I was like, if anything is wrong with this bag, I had to get a ticket to return it to Aruba. I don't know, but I wasn't even going even play around with it. All right, this is the other gift I got. Can you guess what it is? It is, let me see if I can slide it out. Ugh. Ooh, I got it. All right, so I got, hope it's showing up. This is the verb. Virgil, oh, I think the ring light is showing. It's the Virgil book with all his designers, his history, um, his story and journey with the brand and a little bit of things about him with Supreme. I love the designs in here. And so this is a coffee table book that I got uh, for my son. Uh, one of my sons, he has a clothing line and he definitely loves Virgil. And so I got that for him. The last thing I got was for myself. All right, so I was looking for two different types of things and they had this one. So what could it be? Something from the jewelry department. Okay, let's see. I got, let's see, how can I show this to you? 
I got the LV earrings. I'll try to zoom in for you, but this is what I got, the LV earring. Uh, hopefully you can see that. I got the LV earrings. I At first I wanted the one with the um, pearl, but I was afraid because you know, Chanel pearls falls out and I was afraid that maybe Louis Vuitton pearls would not hold up. So I decided to get this one with just the LV. Louis Vuitton also has a beautiful LV that's really, really large, but that one they didn't have in Aruba. Um, and they don't have it in my area and I don't see it online. So that one is really, really cute. It just says LV and it fits like under your ear. Really cute. And so that's why I got that. That's it. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for wishing me happy anniversary. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support, all the kind words. Hubby and I really appreciate it. Uh, Well, ladies, that's it for me. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, Give me that thumbs up before you leave out of here. And until next time, don't forget, ladies, to enjoy life's sweetest things. And ladies, sometimes it's like some of your favorite little gifts. Until next time, bye! Mm -hmm.